Hey, greetings people. The other day I did an unboxing video for this and I was tired and I did a bad job. So I deleted that and I'm just gonna do it again. Saboteur the Dark Cave. This is the newest game in the Saboteur lineup from Amigo. I played it at Gen Con and thoroughly enjoyed it and said, well, let's get it. They had less than 200 copies of it at Gen Con because they're waiting for more to come in. So I picked it up. So Saboteur the Dark Cave by Amigo. Here we have our rule booklet. Not, not too big. Yeah. So gives you a good outlay of things. And when I played it, it was 10 o'clock on Thursday morning, first day of the con, and the person leading us through had only played it once the night before, because they just didn't have copies available to send to people in advance. So there's, guess what, there are, you have actually have characters to move around the game system as it sets up, so that's why you have these in there. But here is why my, uh, my video went so bad. I did not open up either of these cards and look at them. And that's not much of an unboxing video for a card game. So, uh, just giving me a minute here. Well, I should have a point to finger in. And, uh, there we go. Uh, Here we have an example of some of the cards for the game. Here we have a symbol for the blue team and the ladder and a symbol for the yellow team. I believe this is probably the starting point. And interesting, when you have ladder cards, you can move from one ladder card to another ladder card. And just pick which of these spaces you will move your guy to. So we have that, this, Right here, there's different, so your guy can be here. One move to move here, one move to move here. So that's different from the original. And this one. Ah, and this purple place means that's where some of the monsters come up. Yes, there are monsters in this one. There are monsters that will chase you. Or that you might, oh, hey, here's the out. Here's what you're trying to find when you play the game. You're trying to get out of the cave. Gold spots, another spot that gives you where you can start monsters off at if you play a monster card. Well, here we don't have any examples of the monster cards. It doesn't say more of the general location cards. So let's open it up again. And I'm holding my phone. Let's make it really easy, you know. Very, very easy to hold your phone into this at the same time. Not so much. All right. There we go. So here we have some of your cheat sheet cards. So this is a blue team member, of course. Here's all the different characters you can always look like. And here's a good guy, a team, a, a team player on the blue team. Team player on the yellow team. No. Okay, blue. 
yellow. So this is the trader from the blue team. And here is the trader from the yellow team that's giving over to blue. Okay. And we have the axes, which can be used to deal with creatures. Map, of course, you can look at the possible endpoints, spider webs, and so Here is our first creature appearing in this. Okay, we got a rat. And the goblin. Yeah, goblin. So, and here are playing pieces. So that is your unboxing, and there we go, for Saboteur the Dark Cave.